Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and use Cursor IDE on your Mac operating system. Now, if you don't know what is Cursor IDE, let me give you a brief introduction about Cursor IDE. So Cursor IDE is a new AI powered code editor, which is designed to make software development faster and more efficient. So some of the key uh, features about Cursor IDE is that uh, it's an AI first IDE, which is built on top of Visual Studio Code Editor, which means you will feel familiarity with Visual Studio Code if you have just installed Cursor IDE. So you will not have the steep learning curve of using Cursor IDE. The second feature is it's context aware coding environment for you, right? So Cursor IDE knows the context of your code and then it will help you to design and write your code. Also, it has the integrated chat and edit mode, which will help you to ask question about your code which is opened in your Cursor IDE and uh, it's going to analyze your code based on your question and give you suggestions. In the newer version of Cursor AI, it also allows you to use AI agent to help you refactor the entire project even, right? So for installing Cursor IDE, just open your favorite browser and search for Cursor IDE. And one of the top results will show this website link, which is cursor.com. So we are going to go to uh, this website, which is cursor.com. We are going to click on this link. Cursor.com is the official website of Cursor IDE. You can also uh, explore the pricing of Cursor because it's not a free IDE, right? It's free for individual usage. Uh, or hobby usage, but then if you want to do more with the Cursor IDE for your professional work or uh, your work at your company, then you might want to purchase the Pro or, or other paid version of Cursor IDE. For now, we are going to download the free or hobby version. So let's click on the download button here or on the top you will always see this download button. So I'm going to click on the download button and then click on download for Mac OS. And you can see uh, this download for Mac OS option. And when you scroll down, you can see the versions available for Mac OS ARM 64, which is the supported version of uh, the Apple Silicon chip. If you have some older version of Mac, you have other options also, right? So if you're not sure, you can download the Mac Universal version or just click on this download for Mac OS version, which is going to download the Universal version of, of Cursor IDE. So you can see this DMG file is downloaded. So I'm going to click on this DMG file here and let me minimize my browser and let me move this to the center. The process of installation is very simple as always with other installation also, you just need to select this uh, cursor icon and move to your applications folder. And uh, it's going to copy cursor into the applications. And once this is copied, you just need to go to your launch pad and search for cursor and you will see this cursor IDE icon. So click on this icon, which is going to open this kind of uh, window, which says cursor is an app downloaded from internet. Are you sure you want to open it? I'm going to click on open because I trust this app. And it's going to open this kind of window. So cursor will ask you to sign up uh, into the cursor account. Uh, if you don't have any account, you can create one. So let me click on the sign up option here. And from here, you can uh, log in with your Google account or GitHub or Apple account, right? 
And once you are logged in, if you have previously installed Visual Studio Code on your Mac operating system, you will see this option which says import from VS Code because as I mentioned, Cursor IDE is based on Visual Studio Code. So it will look and feel like Visual Studio Code, including all the options which you have on Visual Studio Code, you can import in Cursor also. So I'm going to click on import from uh, VS Code, which is going to import all my extensions, which I have in VS Code into the Cursor AI. So you can see, this is what it imports, settings, extensions, and other profile preferences. And then it says Cursor would like to uh, have access to your files of your documents folder. I'm going to click on allow here. And then you can customize the theme. I'm going to use the default Cursor dark theme and then click on continue. And then you have the quick start option. So here you can see a few options. You can use agent to plan and build anything. You can use cursor tab to predict your next move as any other IDE. And then you also have inline added. So you can use AI to ask question inline inside your code. And then it's going to give you the answer, right? I'm going to click on continue here. And then you have the data sharing option. I'm going to click on I'm fine with cursor learning from my code and then click on continue. And at last I have this uh, review settings. And this last option is also important. So if you want to open cursor using the terminal, you can click on install option and then click on OK, which is going to give you this kind of window. So just give your uh, Mac OS password, which you use to log into your uh, Mac operating system and then click OK and then click on OK. Which is going to install this, right? And then at last click on continue and you will see this kind of uh, cursor IDE window, which is the first window you have on cursor, right? So right now we haven't opened any project in cursor, right? So let's open any folder or create one folder and then we are going to create some code. So from here, I'm going to click on open folder option and uh, you can just decide where you want to create your uh, project. And here I'm going to create a new project. Let's say my node App. So I'm going to create a Node.js application, for example, right? So I'm going to just create this folder and then open this folder in Cursor uh, IDE. So as I mentioned, it will look similar to Visual Studio Code. So you have the search option, you have this Explorer option, and then you have uh, the Git integrations here. Also, you have uh, this kind of... Uh, new agent option and then you have the extensions option so extensions will look similar to visual studio code extensions so all the extensions which are available on visual studio code will most probably will be available inside cursor also also you can open the terminal from here similar to visual studio code multiple terminals using this plus button also now on the right hand side, you can see this chat option here, right? And you will see this drop down menu for agents. You will also see background and ask option. So when you select the ask option, you can ask anything inside this chat box similar to a uh, chat GPT or Gemini or uh, perplexity. So it's going to give you answer based on your question. It's not going to modify your code. This ask option is not going to modify your code. It's just going to answer the questions. If you choose the agent here, it's going to analyze your code and it's also going to modify your code. And it will ask you if you want to keep the suggestions which are provided by cursor 
or not and you can keep or discard those suggestions right also when we click on the cursor option on the top and then select settings and then select cursor settings you can see the settings related to cursor right so from here you have the general options right and then you have some chat options and then tab options and then models which you want to use you can see for uh, the default version some uh, models are available but they will be available in a limited capacity not same as pro version right so you can use any of these uh, models from here and then you have other powerful tools like uh, mcp or other tools right and then you can also use rules or indexing docs options for the cursor settings so you can go through all the settings and play with them and see uh, how you can change all those settings right so let's uh, try to create some project just using the chat option i haven't added any file or anything here just using cursor agent let's try to build a basic node.js app right so let's say i want to create a very simple node application using express js and i want to create a sample for the crud operation using express and node.js right? so i'm going to just write the prompt for that you can see the prompt looks like this create a node.js application using express.js that demonstrate crud which is create read update and delete and then i have just added um, what type of uh, apis i want and i have just provided very simple uh, request here right so you can write this in this chat command and then click on the send option and let's see what it does so right now i don't have any files anything here right so it's going to create a plan and then it's going to guide you step by step how you can achieve your requirements so in the first step you can see it's asking me to run this command which is npm install so i'm going to click on run here and it has uh, run this npm install command which have created these basic files like uh, package.json or package log.json and node modules right now it's creating this server.js file which is the main entry point of this node.js express uh, application i suppose right you can see very basic code for this express uh, application and then once this uh, server.js file is created uh, it's also giving me the option to to run this uh, application using node right so the command is this one which is node server.js i'm going to click on run which is going to run this application and now it also says that i can go to this uh, url or i can give this curl command to test my uh, application right because my application is running here you can see the cursor tab here and using the last command cursor has started my application and you can see all the available endpoints here and using this curl command i can even test my application so i'm going to click on run and it gives the response now i can test the next request which is the get user by id i'm going to click on run and it gives me the user by id and now i can also test the post endpoint by just posting this into my uh, endpoint and it also works and then the put also i can test also the delete option i can test 
and then I have the users uh, get users API endpoint which I can test. So you can see how powerful it is. In seconds, I have created a very basic Express.js application which can demonstrate the CRUD operations and I can even test this with, with the help of Cursor IDE, right? And it took literally some minutes to create this application, right? And then if you are happy with the code, just click on keep and you can keep uh, this code and then use it into your project, right? So this is how simple it is. Here you can see the modified files. So these are the files which are uh, created or modified and then you can click on these accept uh, icons and this means you have accepted all the suggestions which are provided by cursor and those will be added to your project so it has created the readme file also and then package.json file also and here you have all the dependencies right so this is how you can use Cursor to create uh, your projects and then you can ask Cursor to modify this or give more suggestions, right? So coding literally becomes very easy using Cursor IDE. So I just wanted to give you a small demo of Cursor IDE, how you can use it. You can explore it more. As I mentioned, it will look and feel almost like Visual Studio Code. So you will not have a very steep learning curve. So I recommend you to start using Cursor from now on. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.